In this video, I'm going to showcase this character in Anime Dimensions. This is what I'm using and with no assists or damaging traits. Remember to like the video and subscribe. So, Power's first ability is a one-hit combo, while the second ability is a jumping dash that's also a one-hit combo, so basically hit one time. And the third ability is also that, but it also gives more and one range. And the fourth ability, you use it and then you can instantly use another ability and you can move around with it. So it's actually really good. So this makes power really crit reliant. Either since it's one hit, it either crits or doesn't crit, unlike if it has 10 hits per move, like maybe four hits crit and six hits do not crit. Here, it either crits or it doesn't crit. And that makes power not so good if you don't have that good crit chance. Because you need good crit chance to make the hits for the most part crit since it's either don't crit or crit. And if it doesn't crit at all, it's not that strong. But if it does crit, it's kind of strong. So that's why power is going to be pretty stat reliant. You're going to have to have pretty good moves or pretty good stats. But if you do have pretty good stats, then... Uh, she's amazing. All of her skills are one-hit combos, or except for the fourth ability, but the fourth ability is going to be the same. And what I'm trying to say, all of the all of the other abilities are one-hit combos, so it's not taking a long time to actually initiate and finish the moves. You use it, and then it's done, and you can use another ability. Same with the fourth ability. You use it, and then you can use another ability. Or if you don't have any abilities to use, then you can M1. And even and with the third ability you get longer m1 reach so you don't even have to be right next to the boss so it's a really good character for that matter uh but without the pet it's not too good when she really shines is with a good pets with garo pets power has first first of all really good energy gain because she doesn't have a spam move and most those abilities don't have quite good energy gain and since they're a one hit combo most of the one-hit combo moves are also really good energy gain. She has a lot of energy gain, and since she can also use them a lot and often, she's really good. I could see her being really good with, uh, for example, Kurumi as well, spamming abilities all the time. So she's actually really good. And surprisingly, with the gear I'm using, I do think it's going to be different with Celestial and Partner Assists. I do think with the best stuff in the game, I do think power is going to fall off a bit more. But with the gear I am using, She's better than Dio, the raid character I've been so begging you guys to buy, and that's kind of crazy. Like, she's better than Dio. She's only beaten by four other characters with the gear I've been using while using Garopet, and that's Tatsumaki, Shadow Monarch, Millim, and Saber Christmas. They are all powerhouses, and this is a permanent gem character and a drop that you can get for free. So, she's amazing in raids. Literally amazing. She gives so much energy and has good damage, and if you have good stats, she will crit. And in boss rush, I mean, she's not the best since she doesn't have the instant damage with a spam move or anything, but she does have strong moves, especially if she crits, and good energy gain. She So she can activate the pet quite a lot and get back her skills, and that makes her pretty good in boss rush, either, e even with no spam ability or like instant damage. And she's definitely better than most raid characters in Boss Rush, since she basically, yeah, she just beats everything in time. And this is a really good time, especially for a permanent gem character that you can get for free. In Dimensions, she doesn't have the best dash move. She does have a dash move, and that is the second ability, but it's also a jumping move. And the problem with power is that if she doesn't crit, she won't one-shot. And that's the thing. Most of the time, maybe we won't crit, because either you crit or you don't crit, because, well, it's a one-hit combo on all her, her moves. So you basically need to crit, otherwise you will not one-shot, even with the best stuff. And what's the probability to crit every single time you use an ability? Not too high. So that's the problem with power, you basically don't one-shot the enemies, because, well, it's only one-hit combo, and if it doesn't crit, it won't one-shot. And even if you have really good critical chance, like 70%, a third of the time you will not crit, so a third of the time the enemies will not die. Other than that, killing bosses is really fast, especially if you actually do it, not like choke like I did. And she does have a dash move, so it's okay, and the AoE is fine on her abilities. And the purple ability is also really good, um, you can move around with it with good AoE and it 
It's good energy gain. It's pretty good. So she has good moves in dimensions, but you, you would probably need to have high critical chance to actually use her very good. So for beginners, she's not going to be the best for you, but I would still say that Power is the best gem character in the game that you can get permanently. Because she's just way too good if you have the good stuff uh, and the good stats. And yes, you kind of do need to have good stats, but either way, I think she's going to be pretty good for beginners as well. And you can see that I showed a lot in this dimension, like a lot, a lot. And I got the pet activated before the boss, which is really terrible. Then I don't have the pet for the boss and doesn't get the damage. I can't reset the moves. That's really bad, but I still got a respectable time. And you can probably get like 140 with this setup if you really practice. And power could be pretty good in just regular dimensions with the best stuff. So power is by no means a bad character for dimension. So should you get power then? Well, I would say that you should. Like, power is, yes, you can get her for free once you do reach Devil Dimension and try to drop her. But the thing is, first of all, drops are, yes, you can get them for free, but you kind of don't need them just for, it's just for stat points later. And when you are playing through the game, you just play the dimension until you can reach the next uh, difficulty. You don't play until you get the character drop and then move on. So, uh, and since Devil Dimension is not the highest dimension, you're gonna reach Devil Dimension and then you're gonna play until you reach Pirate Dimension, this di dimension, and then here you're maybe gonna grind a bit. Because it's the best dimension that you can and you can get a level 131 card which is much better, uh, so level 131 mythic card instead of level 121 mythic card. So you're gonna grind that more than this, which is power. But even if it's a drop, it's literally at the end of the game. You play through all the levels, and then once you reach the second highest dimension, it's power, and then you're not even guaranteed of dropping. So it's gonna be pretty rare to actually get the character, and I don't think only because she's a drop that sh you shouldn't get her. I think that power is someone you should get quite early, because power, even if you don't have a good pet, she's really good. And she's just, in general, a very, very good raid character, or a very, very good gem character that is good for raids and good for dimensions, and she's better than most raid characters, I'm not even lying. Like, if you look at the best uh, in raids without a pet, she's not too bright. Like, she's about as good as Diablo, Yamato, and Saber Alter, and uh, those characters, those good characters. And Misaka is... where is Misaka even? Yeah, Misaka is here and Gojo is here. Like, power is a bit worse than them, but it's not a big difference. Like, yes, she's a bit worse maybe, but she, it's not a big difference. But when it comes to with a pet, Gojo and Misaka are... Quite high up actually um and for example yamato is really bad saber alter is really bad i don't have all, all the gem characters obviously but power is among the best if you have a good pet so i should i would definitely say that power is the best gem character that you can permanently get right now so don't be too obsessed with the raid characters that you can get right now because well there are good characters that are not raid characters such as power and I would definitely say that she's someone you should try to get. But as a main and not as an assist. And that's just early game because I would probably use Dio over power at any moment. At any given time. Uh, even though power did perform a bit better than Dio. But either way, I do think that Dio is going to be better. So maybe once you start the game, the first character you're going to buy with gems is going to be power. You can use her until you get your first raid character, which is going to be Dio. Keep in mind that I pre-recorded basically all these videos the past two weeks because I am gone until 29th of July. So I will not be able to post like any videos that are not scheduled until then. So I'm sorry for that. And I'm telling this in beforehand because of one reason since i think there's gonna be an update the 10th of july and it's already been 10th of july but for now it's 30th of june for me um i think there's gonna be an update then so maybe there's a new dimension and maybe there's a new gem character so i'm not sure about that yet but this is for the 30th of Ju uh, june when they're 
are no when the highest dimension is level 131 pirate dimension and yeah then power is the best gem character you should buy. But that's about it for this video hope you can enjoy this video and get some nice information from it subscribe if you did since i'm also making a giveaway 30,000 subscribers i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoy this video and see you in the next one Here.